Real Girls. I'm Naomi Machuca-Jones, and it was such an honor to get to watch so many of your wonderful films and be a judge in this year's film festival, your Real Girls Film Festival. And I just want to say how excited I was to see so many of your stories and so much of your great work. And I just want to tell you to please, please keep making movies and telling your stories for the rest of your lives. I want you to think about something. If you've watched primarily uh, US or North American movies in your lifetime, 95% of all of the films that you've ever seen were directed by men and overwhelmingly white men. 80 to 90% of all of the leading characters that you've ever seen in a movie were men and overwhelmingly white men. And 55% of the time that you have seen a female character on screen, she was naked or scantily clad. So I'm telling you that the world desperately, desperately needs to see and hear your stories. So if, as you grow up, you become a filmmaker, which I hope you will, or you get involved in any way in the film and television industry, or you become a storyteller in a different medium, I hope you will remember this, me saying this for the rest of your lives, which is that we need your stories. And however you can get them made, whether it's inside of Hollywood or outside of Hollywood or just on your iPhone, um, it is your civic, ethical, and moral <laughs> responsibility to make sure that you tell the stories and get them to the audiences who so, so badly need to hear them. And thank you for sharing them with me first. Hi, I'm actress Peyton Kennedy. You may know me from my Netflix original series, Everything Sucks, as well as playing Betty in Grey's Anatomy. And I am a huge supporter of amplifying and emphasizing the voices and the films made by female and non-binary filmmakers. And that is why I am so excited and so incredibly honored to say that I am a judge for this year's Real Girls Film Festival in 2021. I had an incredible time watching all of the work that everyone had submitted. It was seriously such an incredible display of work and I commend you for making such incredible films, especially within such a crazy year. Um, and I really want to say to everyone watching, anyone who wants to either become a filmmaker or submit next year or anyone who submitted this year in the past, please, please keep making your films. You have incredible stories inside you that the world deserves to hear. And I am definitely looking forward to everything that you guys do in the future. Bye. My name is Ting Wong. When I was 16 years old, I decided to be an international exchange student in USA. 
This is the first time I took a flight from Taiwan to South Korea and then transferred to United States alone. After spending 23 hours for flight, I finally arrived in Pasi, Oregon to start an adventure and challenging journey. I attended Pasi High School in Oregon and chose to live in the dormitory with another exchange student from different countries, including Turkey, Mexico, Thailand, Korea, Ecuador. I learned the different cultures, lifestyle, and language from my roommate. This also extending my worldview and the personal knowledge. In American high school, American history and mathematics are the basic subject I need to take in order. I also took cooking and photography as my elective courses. I like the studying environment in American high school very much. In addition, the school also pays great attention on the physical training to students. I joined the school team to participate in off-campus competitions of volleyball and basketball. In several off-campus competitions, our team won the game many times with my efforts. The praises were from my teammates, coach, and home mom, home grandma. I feel more confident than before day by day. The COVID-19 epidemic spread rapidly in the United States in early 2020. During the epidemic, we were asked to stay in the dormitory without going anywhere, including my school. At the same time, we must save food and water to avoid problems in our life. My home mom and grandma also tried to go another city to find the food material for our big family twice per month. After one month, the U.S. government asked all exchanging students to leave for home. I was leaving Pasadena on 20 April. My natural parents were trying to buy some protective items from Amazon for me. In order to guarantee I can fly back to Taiwan safely. My parents arranged an anti epidemic hotel for me after arriving in Taiwan. After 14 days, finally I went back to my sweetie home as per government rule. This was really a special experience in my life. I only spent a month for studying in the United States. I'm missing all roommates. We were living, studying, traveling, and play ball games together. Every moment is memorable to me. More importantly, they told me how to solve problems by myself, how to work with my team, and better communication with others. Also, they help me feel a lot of encouragement and confidence. I look forward to facing more challenges in the near future. I think it was a specific person who motivated me. 
because honestly, genuinely, I have been drawing for as long as I can remember and it's always been like a part of my personality and just one of the most basic things that makes me me. So growing up, I've always just kind of been surrounded by art and music and movies and just creativity. I feel like when you tell adults that you want to pursue a creative field, especially adults that care about you, they don't always respond in the most encouraging ways because the stereotype of the starving artist is so ingrained, especially in our culture, and it's not like a widespread career option. It's a bit difficult to be constantly questioned are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure that this is what you want to do for the rest of your life? Because it makes you question yourself. You go like, oh, am I even good enough? It's just there's so much out there. And to confine yourself in a little box of what you should be and what you should do when like, oh, you should be a doctor, you should be an engineer, you should be something stable. I do not seek stability. I want adventure, honestly. <laughs> Uh, basically, what I want to do is I want to be an art curator. I want to be the person who manages galleries and creative events. And what I really, really want is to just be able to give a voice to artists who otherwise wouldn't get the opportunity, like female artists and artists from ethnic backgrounds, like especially Arab female artists who otherwise would never have their art seen. Like, there is so much wasted talent and wasted potential. If I can bring that to light even just a little bit, honestly, I'll be satisfied. Honestly, art is what makes life bearable. Like, people go to their nine to five jobs five days a week, and then on the weekends, they go to see a movie. Or they go out to the city and they look at the architecture. I don't think humans can survive without art. It's we would just bottle up all these emotions and we would explode like it's so integral to society and I think it's ridiculous how undervalued artists are. I would say that I should not be so hard on myself and I should stress less about figuring out what I want to do and that I should listen to myself and my instincts and my gut and allow myself to pursue art as something serious and not just as a hobby or something on the side just because that's what everyone kind of tells you and to believe people when they tell me that I'm talented and that I, you know, I have potential. Guys, I just wanted to share this moment because I feel like it was kind of like, like, whoa. I feel so bad about the amount of money my parents spend on me and like about going to art school and like, you know, just like, like sh thoughts like oh i should do something useful with my life you know and then i like i go to the other room and then i hear my dad talking to his best friend on the phone and he's like why the f didn't you force me to apply to like acting school when we were 18 like why didn't you just grab me by the collar and be like at least fucking try and it was so like, it's such a coincidence that like, I'm literally, I was thinking about it and beating myself up over it. Choosing something that is not very stable when my parents have invested so f***ing much in my education. And then hearing my dad say that like, he wishes he had gone to f***ing art school. Insane. Crazy. Bro. And for best in cat, and for best in cat, and for best in cat.
behind, left behind, left behind. Cause soon enough we'll die Cause soon enough we'll die 